hello and I'm going hello today I'm gonna be making a Kerbal Space Program Soyuz rocket tutorial so first we start with this pod and then we grab our parachute there we go and we grab our science antenna yes seems more appropriate Perfect. Extend this baby. Mm. Put that out a little bit. Nice. Nice. Let's add some science modules on here. So we're going to have to add a heat shield first, since this is a mod pod, yeah, a pod that is modded, we're going to have to, they're going to be pretty small parts for this kind of ship. Alright, so we get a decoupler, we get a medium sized fuel tank, with these spider liquid fuel engines of them with eight symmetry on. Alright. So then we grab our structural fairings. If I can find them there we go. It's a nice structural fairing. Mm -hmm. So this will lift our rocket. And then we'll have our main capsule. I'm gonna have to do that all over again. Not bloody fantastic. There we go, it looks even better. So now we add the fuel tanks. Since this is a small stage for space, let's use this one. Indeed. There we go. Oh yes, I, I must not forget. We, we, I, I almost forgot that we had to add a decoupler onto these. Because if we don't, uh, it'll be a very unpleasant supplies flying. It'll be a very unpleasant surprise flying when something's stuck to the end of your ship. Message from me. Okay then, we're gonna add a very small rocket. Ah, perfect. And we'll put the lifting stage, or number two lifting stage, to get the rocket up in the atmosphere. Should be a good enough tank. There we go. So, much like the Soyuz, they were cone-shaped tanks that leaned to the side. And I will recreate those using the parts I have available to me. Let's see, they were exactly four. And... They were large... Much like the Soyuz. And so we add our rocket engines. Okay. So we could use. 
is the same one, but this is this one. They're much, much more powerful. And for stability, we'll have strut connectors to keep it from breaking apart into a million pieces. And I have to add some winglets for stability. something down here too. There we go. There we go, the Soyuz. Now, let's get this thing in space. Make sure all of the staging is done properly. Well, we don't want that happening at the wrong time. Right. Alright. We are ready. Launch. There we go. Have our Kerbal astronauts. On the inside, they can't see anything since this is a modded pod. Great. Three, two, one, launch. <laughs> This has to reach at least 60,000 feet. Plenty of fuel. Because we have this, this stage right here to enter, to enter the tunnels this inside. This baby. So we can do it. That's eight spiders. Hmm. 
run out of fuel. Alright. All I need to do is reach for epilepsis and continue from there. Speed this up right here. All right, we don't want to whoops miss what <laughs> this. Is. This is a little much for those possible to correct our stability. Feel the spare. So, this, the poodle, is a very fuel efficient engine in space. Such is why I chose it. Okay, so the Soyuz craft did go around the Earth once. Just once to collect scientific data. I'm gonna speed this up. Alright, let's see. Let's land right here. Let's correct this. Alright, let's fold this. Well, the Earth does rotate so we have to make some corrections. that spin. <laughs> Alright, let's record some data while we're up here. Okay, let's extend this. Look at that view. Let's do some EVAs while we're up here. We can space block, but it's extremely dangerous since we're going about 1500 meters per second and counting. 
So let's transmit that science. There we go. Science transmitted. Sorry, old fuel. Still have plenty left of you. <sighs> bye bye. There you go. Let's extend this out. Okay, let's fast forward. As you just saw, we have no electric charge, but we can still activate a chute by taking a Kerbal out on EVA. So let's do that. Since we're all out of electric charge, let's use manual labor. Deploy chute. There we go. Board. Right now it's just armed. So when it, whenever we hit the atmosphere, it'll just activate on its own. Just hope <laughs> it corrects itself because we cannot, and we don't want them to burn to a crisp. Like the f very first rocket sent out by Russia. Here we go. Look at that heat. My god. Alright, our parachute has been deployed. You're slowing down. Oh, we're screwed. Yeah. Watch them just fall to their death. Goodbye, cruel world. <sighs> cruel world. I'll do the same. We Yay! Thank you, glitchy interface. You have saved my skin. Bill's still falling, poor Bill. Look at his tiny little body. Oh. Let's switch to Bill. See how he's holding up? See if we can glitch this out. Well, we were actually slowing down his descent. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Hey, at least we still have this guy. Dun 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 dun. Thanks for watching this, guys. I'm going to name this Victory. Alright. Smile. Look at him smiling. See you next time on Kerbal Space Program. Yay!